Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be playing some more Fishing North Atlantic and we are going to be doing some snow crabbing. So as you can see here we are back in the Lunar Bow. It is the 25th of November. We have a full boatload so we're going to sell that here. Let's just a quick check. So this is 5.2 million dollars. We have uh, 30 million, so just enough for the snow crab boat. We get a port revenue, or port bonus, port reputation bonus, I guess, of uh, 918,000. We have 464,000 here for our crew. So now we got 36k. Let's quick check the bar. And free, I mean, I guess we'll take it. Why not? At least it puts another mark, mark on our map. All right, we're in Lunenburg now. Let's go to, I guess we'll fuel up, why not, 63k. Oh, that's our shipyard. And we are going to buy the Atlantic Catcher. Here we go, guys. Uh, this thing costs 29 million. Yeah, basically 30. So we'll buy that. We won't take the tutorial, but we'll, uh, what do we need, upgrades? Storage, yes. An extra 300k, so this doubles our storage. 1.5 million dollars more. Max engine, that's pretty cheap, 110k. Max radar, we don't currently need the radar because we already have we explored everything. We found all the ships and stuff. We'll add autopilot. Uh, we won't add the quota yet. Again, we'll do it if we need to. We got the fish sonar maxed out. We'll buy the best buoys. We got a 10k searchlight. Not bad. Side thruster we already own because we probably bought it in other boats. And a second... Wait. Oh. Uh, I don't know. I thought I double clicked it, so that was a little weird. Oh, wait. Uh... No. Okay, so we're going to be spending 1.637 million on upgrades. Then let's go back to fish market. We need to go to fishing gear and buy some bait. 150 baits at uh, $100 a piece. What's that? 1,500? No. 15,000. Yeah, I don't know how I thought it was 1,500. I am an idiot. And now we need to buy the snow crab pots so we can get 126 for 189,000. Holy crap. Alright. So we just spent, what, another 200,000? So about 1. Point, basically almost 1.9 million in upgrades and uh, um, I don't even know what you call it. Whoa, we're going right into the side here. Alright, we are gonna... oh wait. Before we do that, let's go to the bar. See if we got any tips. Um, we'll purchase the free one, but we don't have anything on snow crab. So I'm gonna go to other ports, and we're just gonna see if we can find a tip here. Let's go to Lockport. Because right now I have no idea where these crabs are at, and this is gonna be our first time ever crabbing. So I wanna see if we can find them. Nothing here. We'll take the free one. Oh, I also don't know if I showed you guys. Well, I don't think it was snowing last time, and I haven't showed you this time. But yeah, there's there's snow on the ground now. It's almost December, so it's kind of cool to see. Tips. Here we go. Free. Oh, it's from a week ago, though. We got another free one, another free one. I mean, I guess at this point, might as well go check the fourth place and see if we can't find something. Oh, okay. So look, we got this one. This must have been a free one I picked up a while ago, but this is from 12 days ago. And now this one we got 7 days ago. So they're in this area headed this way. That's good, actually. So that tip, even though it's a week old, was actually helpful because we had one from another 5 days before that. Okay, so I'm exactly... Oh, there we go. We got some crabs. Alright, so let's stop. I want to give you guys a tour of this boat as well, but I want to do that during the day. Should have done that right away. 
<laughs> I just checked all my guys and all four of them are level six for the crane. So I guess we'll put Rudy on there and we'll have the other guys sorting crabs because they're probably faster than him. Let's check. Um, sort scallops. Cra here we go, crabs five. I know the other guys have done it a little bit. Yeah, 14. From the Actually, it's from lobsters, but 14, 12. It's obviously much better than five. And 13. Yeah, so 12, 13, 14. All right, we'll have these two guys. He'll prepare the bait, and he'll uh, set the pots. And then we'll just... Uh, I don't know what this is. Oh, okay, it's like a little slider. So he's either preparing it or stacking it. Gotcha. So he's taking the far back top corner. Let's watch how this is done here. Let's get this out of here. So I did take a look around this boat before I bought it for you guys, but over here's our freezer. Here's the bait machine. This is the controls for the crane over here. It's weird because it's a really big ship, but inside there's almost nothing to explore in here, but I'll, again, I'll show you guys later. I think we're just going to drop these in a straight line. Our guys will do most of the work. Pretty much all we have to do is just click R. I don't know how long I should be spacing these out. But I think maybe every couple I'll leave like a like an hour or something, hour or two. All right. Is that next pot ready yet? Why is it not ready? Oh, there we go. There's quite a few of them out there. But yeah, with 126 pots, I think we should be able to get quite a lot of crabs. Um, maybe not like money-wise, because they're not, they don't weigh very much. Or I mean, maybe not weight-wise, because they don't weigh very much, but money-wise we should be good. I think they're worth like 30-something a kilo right now. Let me check, actually. Okay, so we're at 23 from Lunenburg. 27. 24, 24, 24, and 23. So Yarmouth's paying the best by far. And I actually have the, the highest port rep pop possible here, 19.2. So both Yarmouth and uh, Lunenburg were maxed port rep, but 27, that's a lot more than Lunenburg, 23. $4 more per kilo. So I'll finish dropping these. I think I'll do like 20 maybe and then we'll see what we can catch at the end of 20 there's a lot down here one two three four five six seven eight I think something like that they're they're all over holy crap so hopefully we're really on the crab because they're everywhere this is exciting this boat can hold 600,000 now because our upgrade 600k so, I don't know what that comes to at $27 uh, per kilo, but uh, a good amount, I'll tell you that much. Because when I was selling swordfish and stuff, I think I was getting like 40, 45, something like that. I don't remember, it's been so long, but. Um, so basically, double the price, or roughly double, you know, 54. And we could only hold 50,000 kilos max. And that was worth a couple million dollars. So cut that in half, but then you times it by 10. So instead of say, I don't remember what it was, like 3 million, cut it down to a million and a half, times it by 10, you could get like 15 million if you could fill your boat probably. Obviously the price is going to slowly decline over time, which it is, but... Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's a lot of money. And we probably don't even have enough bait for all that. I don't know how much uh, how much bait we've used so far. 
We can check somewhere. Um, I think we've used two. And we've dropped seven pots so far, so... Maybe you can, uh, one, one last for four pots or something? If that's the case, we could drop 600 pots, I think. Alright guys, so I was skipping ahead time to, uh, pick these up. But I figured I'll give you guys a little tour while it's, uh, daytime. So, this is what the captain's quarters looks like right here. Um, yeah, we got the logbook couple of uh, different instruments. Nothing you can do really over on this left half. You got the uh, rescue book. You got the little, uh, I'm not sure what those things are called, but manage the crew here. You can anchor or gear, I guess. Where's the anchor at? Oh, there it is. You can anchor um, your horn. Got a couple other different screens. Work lights. Um, yeah, looks pretty cool. You got your knife up there. Some more screens up there. Nothing really around here. Just kind of, you know, some stuff to make it look nice. But yeah, there's, uh, well, actually, I didn't look around if there's anywhere on the floor that you can go down, but okay, yeah, no. This is the clock where you'll skip time, but when you come out here, you can go up. And there's nothing up here, but it is kind of cool. And then we can go back down. And I think this is like the little rescue boat. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you can go over here and then go down, but there's nothing down here again. This is just sort of the little anchor area. And there's some rooms in here, but you can't actually enter. So we'll go back this way towards the back. This is where there's actually got stuck on some. This is where there's actually, uh, you can go inside. So if we go down, this is where you operate the crane at. And then over here we got some rooms. Can't go in this one or this one. You can go in this one. This is the um, bed area. Crew cabin. Couldn't think of what it's called. And then we'll go down one more layer. There's another area we can go in. So again, here's the bait station. You grab a block of bait, chop it up. Two of them fit in there. And then here is the other room that we can go in over here. So this is where we'll be doing the cooking and eating. At least I believe so. Yeah, we can't go in either of these rooms, so that's it. That's all the rooms, which is kind of disappointing. It's a pretty big boat, so you'd think there'd be a little more. But yeah, this is where you'll sort the crabs. They'll put them on here. This thing flips up and launches them. Um, can't go up here. At least I couldn't earlier. Yeah, okay. There's really nothing back in any of this area. Yeah, just a bunch of pots, and uh, that's it. It's funny because the whole like deck is taken up by pots. You can go up here, but there's nothing back there either. Same with here, you can't go in there. So that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go back up, and uh, we'll skip, skip the rest of the time. Alright, so all of these have been in for 19 and a half hours now. So we're going to start grabbing these because all of these are like five minutes apart. And I don't know how long this is going to take, so let's put our crew on there quick. You can man the crane, and you guys can sort crabs. Coming up on the first one here. I'm going to go down and watch the operation here. Oh, Jesus. This is going to be hard to control. The side thrusters really, uh... Oh, I'm going negative uh, knots, that's why. I had slammed on the brake so hard because I was way off, but... I want to go a little bit fast, but... Yeah. And that's good enough. Try and go just a little bit. Did I miss it? 
Are they doing it? It's underwater, isn't it? I don't see where it went. Okay, yep, I ran it over. Alright, we'll try this again. Alright, they got the first one on. Well, let's go down and see. Holy crap, that thing is full of crabs. Jeez. Dude, are you serious? Alright, so I, have, I don't have any idea what we're doing here, but this one's big. Um, is there a certain thing I'm supposed to be looking for here? Sixteen hundred. I think that's pretty good. But wow, that's that's it. It took like one minute. All right, so this is way easier to do going backwards. These these are super hard to get. Let's go down and check it out again. Dude, these things look loaded. I don't know if sixteen hundred is really good or not, but it seems like it would be. Cause it's just full of crabs. So, like, this one's obviously way too small. So, we'll return that. I don't... I think there's... You're supposed to check if they're male or female, I think, somehow. I didn't do the tutorial, like I said. So, yeah, I don't know if we're doing really good or not, but those numbers, I think, seem pretty good. Like, I don't, I don't know what a, 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 you know, average snow crab catch is. Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments down below, but... I think we're doing pretty good, um, and yeah, we have, you know, 148 um, b blocks of bait left, and we only dropped 10 pots. We had 126, so we could have dropped more than 10 times that, and then picked them all up, dropped 10 times again, picked them all up. Oh god, it's kind of cool that this table like it flips to the left to get the crabs, and then flips back to the right so they can just throw them down the little chute and into the, I don't know if it's a ballast tank or what they call it exactly, but some kind of a holding tank for the, the uh, crab. I was going to say fish. That one looks huge. One thousand, okay, so that was our worst one yet. But yeah, it definitely looks like you do not need, leave, need to leave any time. What is this? Tw okay, so these ones, it took us a half hour to go through four of them so far. And that's with some bad driving, so... I think we'll watch the operation from here and see how it does. So yeah, it looks like we got, you know, like 10, 12 crabs on there. Sixteen hundred. So we've gotten eight thousand kilos already. All right, we're pulling up the last one here. The last two have actually been our best two yet. So we we hit kind of a bad patch in the middle, but I'll show you guys here in a second. I also checked, and it took us just about an hour to do ten of them. Because it was at uh, 20, and 20 hours and 48 minutes, I think it said. So, I think we started this one at like 37, so about an hour and 10 for 10 of them. Something like that. So maybe every 10, if you're going to do it, space it out an hour or maybe two hours to be safe. If you guys are going to be uh, crabbing. 1700, alright, let's check. 
I guess I could show you guys uh, my my sale. So we did go out and catch another 60,000 kilos worth of uh, lobster. But for the amount of work, um, let's see, we, yeah, we netted 1.6 million. And then in, in three days, we managed to pull in, a, you know, five and a half million or five and a quarter million, I guess, dollars of just Pollock. And then we did it again in two days, pulled in another five, five point two million of Pollock. So this is kind of how I grinded up the money to uh, to buy this boat. I just went back to the big trawler. This was fun, but uh, as far as uh, if you're trying to rank up and get the boats, I mean the trawler, at least the um, the Lunar Bow. I haven't tried the Hermes or you know the other couple of the other ones, but the Lunar Bow just uh, man, it's it's great for pulling in fish. You can, like I said, you can fill it. You can see here in two days, you can fill 999,000 kilos. All right, so here is our catches. We got 1,600, 18, 19, 1,000, 16, 14. Then we got 5, 19, 2,000. And then the last one was 1791. We are back in port in Yarmouth. It is really rainy now. Let's check out how much these fish will get us, or crab. Wow. So, this is at a, a decent price. They normally sell at 18. It's about 50% higher. Um, I shouldn't say decent. It says good price. So it's a good price. Our port bonus is 83k. Our crew takes half that. But yeah, f half a million dollars with 10 pots. That's uh, that's pretty good. So if you you know imagine if we threw out 10 times that, we'd have 4 million. And with the amount of bait you can hold on this boat, I think you could do that plenty of times over. You could probably fill all 600,000 kilos of your boat. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. We're sitting at 4.7 million, and we're going to try to get the Viking Power and the Hermes in the next episode, or next two episodes, I guess. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.